Hi everyone, I'm Sophia. Before showing you guys another Korean dish, I'm filming in the center of Christchurch to share the vibe of Christchurch, New Zealand. Today is 27th of September and this week New Zealand has moved down to alert level 1 apart from Auckland which still remains at alert level 2. That means there are no extra restrictions on social gatherings and funerals. So guys, Christ Central's have changed so much in the last couple of years um, after the severe earthquake in 2011. The city is constantly evolving and getting filled with new things to explore both for locals and visitors. You can find so many new spots to shop, eat and play. So come down and enjoy the freedom of social gatherings at level 1 and support the local businesses. But now I'm going back to my kitchen to show you guys another Korean restorative dish that is very beneficial during COVID-19. So see you soon! Hi guys! Welcome back to Monkey See Monkey Do Cookbang Channel. Today I'll be making sogagi tang which is a beef short rib soup. This is another very well-known Korean restorative dish just like chinseng chicken soup which you can watch here. We serve this on special days or special guests or when people need a burst in energy. This is a steaming, clear, hearty soup which will also be very ideal to consume during COVID-19 period. So let's get it started! Yay! Okay guys, so let's start making beef shortbread soup. So, here are my ingredients. So, I've got this lovely beef short ribs that I bought from Korean and butchers or you can go ahead and go to your local and butcher and ask to you know cut it like this so they are very uh, tender and juicy cut when you braise it properly and I've got the spring onions some Korean red edge the top and one beef onion three ginger and the dry stocky mushroom and the ginseng and a handful of the garlic and also this is optional, but you can add this Korean vermicelli noodle as well when you serve this kalbi tang. This ginseng, jujube, and the um, shiitake mushroom, they are just an optional. So let's get started! Yay! So first of all, I'm going to cut this beef ribs. Also, you can trim away the excess fat. So I'm going to Soak this in cold water and I'm going to switch the water around at least 2-3 times in the next 2 hours. So you just put it aside but while we are soaking this um, beef ribs, you also want to soak this Korean lemon chili noodles. And I'm going to use warm water. And I'll go away to my own thing and come back in 2 hours. See you! Okay guys, I'm going to swap this water, see how much um, blood is in there. So we want to drain out and switch to a fresh water and I'm going to put that aside. Okay guys, so it's been 2 hours since I've soaked this um, beef in cold water to drain all the blood out of the flesh and blood out of the bone. So I'm going to wash this beef really well. So you can feel the gritty um, bone powder. So make sure you wash it really nice and clean. Firstly, I'm going to poach this um, beef ribs. Okay, so my water's boiling now. Ooh. <laughs> this, ooh, wow, what's the, what? <laughs> this is to remove all the excess fat around these um, beef ribs, but also to make the soup more clear. Okay guys, so I'll put this for last 5 minutes and see all that oils and all the scums around. That's why we must poach this um, beef short ribs. And see how there's this... At the god! <laughs> and see oh gosh, how there's this blood came out of the bone. That's why we must wash this really well. See that? Okay guys, so I've poached this beef really well. So I've got a bigger pot. I'm gonna throw all this beef in. We don't wanna slice it now, we slice it once it's cooked. So you just um, put it in a big chunk. Spring onions, garlics and onions are closely related families that are used in various cuisine across the world. 
They all contain high levels of vitamin C, which is an immune-boosting vitamin. It helps build white blood cells to fight against infections. Therefore, they give away antibacterial properties and help us combat cold, cough, and flu. I'm adding also this Korean ginseng, which is so good for you. Ginseng has been used in traditional oriental medicine for centuries. It is believed that ginseng works as a relaxing agent and offers invigorating effects. Ginseng has beneficial antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Studies show ginseng helps reduce inflammatory markers and increase antioxidant capacity in cells. I'm also putting on this shiitake mushroom for extra umami flavor and this dry jujube. So I'm putting three. And then lastly, I'm putting this uh, dry kelp. This brings a nice umami flavor, but we want to get this out 20 minutes after boiling. Also, I'm going to put one big tablespoon of the kosher salt and a pinch of um, black pepper. And this is five liters of cool water. You want to bring it to boil from the cool water so that all the beef juice gets released around the um, syrup. So if you're going to boil this for one hour up to one and a half hour. So I'm going to bring it to boil at a high heat. Okay guys, so I've been boiling this for last 20 minutes at a high heat. So it's time to get the kelp out. Also, you can see those oils floating around. So I'm going to remove some of the fats around. Depends on the strength of the stock, but I'm going to reduce it down to medium. Okay guys, so I've cooked this at a high heat and then I've reduced the heat down to medium and I've braised this for last 1 hour 10 minutes. So in total it was 1 hour 30 minutes. So the soup is now all concentrated down. It just looks so rich. And look at that beef. It's just so soft and tender. We're gonna season this broth. So I'm going to use this Korean soy sauce for soup. So I'm adding three tablespoons and taste it. Have a sip. Wow, it's so good, so rich. And you can smell and taste that nice scent of the ginseng as well as the juju. We call this hanbang galbitang. Wow. But if you want this a little bit more savourier, you can just use more kosher salt. But also, I suggest using this. And fish sauce. So I'm going to add one more tablespoon of this fish sauce. I'm going to take all the veggies out. So I'm going to throw this out and I'm going to get my radish out as well. So I'll show you the way to serve it. I'm going to use this Korean earthenware. You can just use a normal small pot. That's totally fine. So this vermicelli noodle is all softened up. So I've just drained it. I'll normally serve about a um, good three um, short ribs for one person. It's just so nice and tender. I'm going to put some soup. We're gonna slice this Korean radish. The Korean radish or daikon radish provides antibacterial and antiviral properties that are excellent for maintaining the health of the respiratory tract and lungs. Infections caused by bacteria or viruses result in increased mucus production, and which can make breathing difficult. Korean radish also contains bioflavonoids that can boost the function of the lung. And then, I'm gonna let it boil. Okay guys, so it's boiling really well. So I'm going to garnish it with some yellow eggs and some white part of the eggs and generous amount of spring onions. Ta-da! So that's all done. Okay guys, so I've finished making my Korean beef short rib soup. Wow, it smells so amazing. This is one of the best known restorative food in Korea along with that samgyetang. So I'm going to dig in. I've got some bowl of rice, some kimchi, and some salt and pepper. And this is the wasabi and soy sauce. Some people like eating, you know, with the salt and pepper or with the um, wasabi and soy sauce. Just dip it in. So it's up to you. But first, I wanna try this soup. Oh my god! Wow! Oh, so 
so good. And I'm gonna try this and be fruit. But guys, are careful. I'm gonna get a glove. This is a serious matter, guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna try it. Mm. Wow, just falls apart. Mm. So juicy and tender. Mm. The texture is just so amazing. I'm gonna try this wasabi. Um, guys, so good. I think I nailed it. It's just so amazing. Can you get it's worth the time, worth the effort. I'm just gonna turn off the camera and sit down and dig in. So if you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe and comment it down. And I'll come out with even better, even more delicious, healthy Korean dish that is really good during this COVID-19. And I'll come back later.